guys, in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know in your My Disney Experience app on how to book Genie Plus selections, how to modify Genie Plus selections, how to purchase individual Lightning Lane selections, and then a few other tips I have with Genie Plus. All right, so you're headed to the parks today. You know you're going to want to purchase Genie Plus and use it throughout the day. So here's what you're going to do. Before 7 a.m., you're going to log into your My Disney Experience app, and you're going to tap those three lines in the bottom right-hand corner of the app. Then you're gonna tap tip board in the top left. Then you're gonna see the option to purchase Genie Plus for today for a certain amount of money. Now the lowest we've seen so far is $15 per person per day and the highest is $29 per person per day. And that's gonna change depending on expected crowds um, and the time of year. So what you're gonna do is tap purchase Genie Plus and you're just gonna walk through and make that purchase for everyone in your party. And if you haven't already watched the watch this video before using Genie Plus video, you're going to want to watch that to make sure that before you get to this step, everyone's going to show up and you're going to be able to book Genie Plus for everyone. So go back and watch that video if you haven't. But you're going to just click through and make that Genie Plus purchase for everyone. Now that you've purchased Genie Plus, the purchase Genie Plus option at the top of your tip board now says when you can book your next Genie Plus, which is going to be 7 a.m. because that's when everyone can book their first Genie Plus, whether you're staying on-site or off-site. You'll also notice that at the top of my tip board on my screen, I have Seven Dwarf Mine Train and Space Mountain at the top. Now, once again, if you haven't watched that prep for Genie Plus video, I highly recommend you go watch it because it's going to teach you how to prioritize rides. And instead of having all the rides that you want just falling in alphabetical order in your tip board, it's going to, um, you have the option to actually prioritize rides and put the ones that you're most interested in at the top of your tip board, which is really helpful. Now at 7 a.m. you can book that first Genie Plus selection. So at 7 a.m. we're going to pull down on our screen to refresh the screen. In this scenario, we're going to book Space Mountain. So we're going to go ahead and tap book experience under Space Mountain. Your party will already be selected. And we already confirmed that your party would be selected from that prep video. Notice that the return time or the redeem between time is selected for you. When you're making a Genie Plus selection, you don't get to choose your return time for that ride. You are just given the next available return time. Now you'll tap continue and you'll be taken to a confirmation screen saying you got that Genie Plus selection for that time. Now, if you wanna purchase an individual Lightning Lane selection, you return to your tip board, you scroll to find that attraction if it's not already at the top for you because you've placed it there. And then you tap the bar with purchase for blank amount of money. And again, individual Lightning Lane selections, those prices can change daily as well. So you'll tap that bar. Now you'll notice with individual Lightning Lane selections, you do get to choose your return time. So you choose the time you want to ride. And in this scenario, we are trying to ride um, somewhere in the 10 o'clock hour. So we're going to tap 10 o'clock. We're interested in riding at 10, 10 a.m. So we're going to select that one. And then you tap continue. Then you see the total price you'll pay for the individual Lightning Lane selections for your entire party. And then you tap continue. You should already have a credit card on file. And if you're working with a Main Street agent, we typically do that in advance with you. So you're not fumbling around trying to put your credit card information in at 7 a.m. Tap purchase. And then you're taken to the confirmation screen that you did in fact purchase this individual Lightning Lane selection. All right, now that you have made your first Genie Plus selection and you've purchased your individual Lightning Lane selection, you might be wondering, Oh my goodness, what time were those? I can't remember it. That's super easy to find. So what you're gonna do is go back to your tip board if you're not there. And then in the top right, you will see my day. So you're gonna tap my day. And then you will see that Disney has put um, everything you've booked right there, including your dining reservations. All that can be found in my day. Now I do want you to take note that um, there's that little blue booked tag on the attractions that actually are booked. Because if you scroll down, you'll see that um, Disney, the genie does like to recommend attractions for you. And so just be careful that those are just, it says recommendation. Those are not actually booked attractions. All your booked attractions will have that little blue tag that says booked on it. Now, if you're wondering, all right, what time can I book my next genie plus selection? If you just go back to the tip board, you'll see at the top, the next time you can book your genie plus selection. After booking your first Genie Plus selection at 7 a.m., you can book your next Genie Plus selection two hours after the park officially opens. This is not two hours after early entry begins, but two hours after the park officially opens. Or if you are able to scan into your Genie Plus selection before the two hour mark, you can book your next Genie Plus then, right after scanning into that ride. 
So today, Magic Kingdom actually opens at 8 a.m., which means we can make our next Genie Plus selection at 10 a.m., and you can see that at the top of the tip board. However, our return time for Space Mountain is 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., so we're actually gonna scan into Space Mountain before we ever hit 10 a.m. So right when we scan into Space Mountain, we can book our next Genie Plus selection. Now, just a little side tip. If you scan into your ride and you try to book your next Genie Plus selection and you cannot, then that means that that attraction has two scanners. A lot of attractions have a scanner just to get in line to the ride and then a final scanner right before you board that attraction. So after you hit that final scanner, then you should be able to book your next Genie Plus selection. This rule for booking Genie Plus, where you can book your next Genie Plus either two hours after you booked your last one or after scanning into that next Genie Plus selection, whichever comes first, that rule is plays out for the rest of the day. I think one of the simpler ways to think of this is you can book a Genie Plus selection every two hours. I feel like that's really simple. Or if you scan into your Genie Plus selection before the two hour mark hits, you can book your Genie Plus selection then. No matter when you can book your next Genie Plus selection, whether it's the two hours from now or if you're going to be able to scan into your ride before that two-hour mark, I highly recommend setting an alarm on your phone so that you don't miss the opportunity to book the Genie Plus selection right when you're able to because then you're just kind of, um, you're just having missed opportunities. Now, what do you do if you want to change your Genie Plus selection? Maybe you just want to change the return time or maybe you want to change the attraction altogether. So this happened to one of my clients recently where they had a return time for Peter Pan's flight for 9.15 a.m. and they realized they're not going to get to the park in time and they needed to just bump it back. So let me show you how you can modify your Genie Plus selections. There are a few ways you can modify. So one way is to just go into your tip board and just find the attraction that you've already selected. Tap those three dots in the top right and you can select modify plan. Another way to modify your Genie Plus selection is through My Day. So you can get back to your tip board, then tap My Day, and you'll see your booked Genie Plus selection. And you can either tap those three dots or you can just select the attraction, which I'm gonna do. And then you'll also see the option to modify plan. No matter where you hit modify plan, how you get to modify plan, it's gonna take you to basically another tip board where you can change the return time for the same attraction or you can see that you can just book a whole new attraction for the current return times. In our case, we still want Peter Pan. So we're gonna choose this return time for 2.20. So we tap change this time, then confirm change. And then you're taking this confirmation page that says all is good. A few notes for Genie Plus. Just remember that you can book Genie Plus for parks that you're gonna be hopping to in the afternoon. So let's say that you're at Animal Kingdom this morning, you at 7 a.m., you can actually you can book a Genie Plus for the Safari or anything at Animal Kingdom, or let's say you know that you're going to Hollywood Studios later, you can, at 7 a.m., you could already start booking Genie Plus selections for your time at Hollywood Studios, as long as those return times are pushed far enough out to where you're gonna be able to make it to Hollywood Studios in time. Also, I just want you to know that if you're in a situation where Genie Plus is at the same time as a current dining reservation, you always wanna prioritize your dining reservation. So just go, eat your food and save your receipt and then you can take it to the cast member at the front of the attraction and explain that you missed your Genie Plus selection time because you were eating at this restaurant. I believe that's it for Genie Plus. So if you have any questions, be sure to reach out to me or another Main Street vacation planner and we are happy to help you guys with anything that you need. I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that tutorial super helpful. I did mention in that video quite often the Genie Prep video. You can find that here. If y'all need anything, please reach out and happy planning. Bye guys.